proceed with learning outcome number four, product life cycle. Product life cycle is a biological metaphor that traces the stages of a product's acceptance from its introduction, which is the birth of the product, until to its decline, the death of the product. Product also like a human. When it was introduced first in the market, and it will go along over the years through uh, different stages until to one extent will be no longer available in the market. We never know how long a product could survive in the market. Basically, there are four stages in product life cycle. The first stage is the introduction stage. Number two is the growth stage. Number three is the maturity stage and number four is the decline stage. In order to understand the different stages of PLC, I will show you an example of how flat screen television going through these different PLC stages. And you can see that at this different stage, company will do a different marketing strategies because of the different situations and due to the fact that in every market there is always a competitors so it will push the product from one stages to another in a way products are a lot like people they are born grow mature and eventually die some goods quickly go through all four stages while others may stay in the maturity phase for a century or more. When flat screen TVs were introduced in the marketplace, consumers suddenly had the option of owning a sleek appliance that gave viewers a widescreen cinema-like experience to watch their favorite shows. At first, profits were negative because so much money was spent launching the product. But during the growth stage, sales increased at a rapid rate as more and more consumers realized the benefits of owning a flat screen TV. Profits will also peak during this stage, but new competitors enter the market. Soon, it seems like everybody, including your grandma, has a flat screen in their home. Sales hit their peak, but profits decline as marketing costs go up. It is at this point that the TV maker may decide to phase out the product and let new models take its place. Like flat screens with 3D capability, internet-ready TVs, and even eco-friendly HD models. It's all part of the circle, or rather, cycle, of a product's life. I hope from the example given, you can understand how product live their life in the product life cycle. The question is, what happened to a product when it enters the decline stage, where the sales is decreasing, the product is no longer relevant to the consumers. First, company could maintain the product, just leave the product in the market and see how it goes. Number two, company might reposition the product. And then, last but not least, the final decision is to drop the product from the market. Means that to eliminate the product from the market. Examples like Sony Walkman when it introduced in 1979, and in year 2010, Sony had decided not to produce a Walkman anymore. So it will be the end of life for the Sony Walkman. Raise your hand if you know what this is. Should have thought this through. Uh, I can't see if you're raising your hand. Several hundred years ago, long before you were born, this was invented. This simply has one function, and it is to play music. There's no touch screen, there's no streaming. You listen to a tape, you started at the beginning, you ended at the end. You couldn't hit shuffle, you couldn't skip back and forth, you couldn't hit repeat. You listen to a tape as if you were sitting at a concert, but all in the ease and comfort of a walk. So they call it a walk, man. Because you put it on your head, and you can walk, man.